Good evening. An eerie family is still searching for answers tonight after their loved one was shot and killed back in September. Tonight, the family and community members gathering at the house where the shooting happened for a take back the site vigil. Tara Braddock was at that vigil tonight, held for Philip Clark. She joins us now in the newsroom with that story. Tara. Jill, Sean Phillips' sister say he was a kind person and they don't understand how this happened to him. I miss my brother so much. Selena Clark is calling for peace and justice after her brother Philip Clark was shot and killed in his home in September. The Erie County coroner confirmed that Philip died from multiple gunshot wounds to the trunk. Y'all know my brother was good to everybody. Everybody. And shame on you whoever did this because I hope you're watching because God's still eating you up in the inside. And you either they're going to find you or baby you're going to crack. As Clark and her family still search for answers, they came together with community members on Tuesday for a take back the site vigil to honor Philip. Philip was disabled and confined to a wheelchair, but his sister Felicia says that didn't stop him from giving back to people. He was kind, very generous. When you seen him, he always gave you a kind word. You know, he cared for everybody. Despite the cold weather, around 50 people came out to the vigil to honor Philip's life. It's beautiful. That shows that, you know, it's a lot of support out here. The Benedictine Sisters of Erie, Oblate Sisters of St. Joseph, and the Sisters of Mercy put on these vigils. And no suspects have been identified in Clark's case, and the police are encouraging people to come forward with any information as well. Jill? Okay, Tara, thank you.